In the next couple of videos, we're going to go ahead and focus on the settings tab, which is right up here to the right. Boom. You click on it, okay? But this first one, I just want to give you an explanation of all these boxes and what they do, all right? Most of them are explanatory just by reading it. For example, mono all channels. If you check the box, you are going to get a little window that says alert. Superior drummer needs to be restarted before this setting can take effect. Okay, that's fine. You may also be required to rescan your plugins depending on your host program. Note that this change will render existing projects unusable until you adjust them to the new channel configuration. Okay, no problem there. So we're just going to click all right. And in essence, what this is going to do is it's going to treat all of your outputs as an independent mono channel for each piece, you understand? As opposed to having, I don't know, output one and two for your kick. Now you're just going to have output one as a kick. You understand? So it's going to treat all of your outputs as mono. Okay, now it is going to be good for some DAWs or, you know, some creative routing and stuff like that. And it will give you access to 32 individual channels. Now that can be helpful in my opinion. Okay. Now keep in mind though, this will apply globally to all of your projects. So don't select it if you're in the middle of something. Okay. Because it could possibly mess things up. Make sure you decide on this option at the beginning of a project, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it, and I'm going to get the same alert, but I'm just going to press OK. Next is the Bounce Splits Stereo option, okay? Now, in a nutshell, this is going to go ahead and bounce your overheads and the ambient mics as split stereo files as opposed to interleaved files, okay? So we're going to have a left and a right whenever we decide to bounce, okay? Next on the list is gonna be keep intermediate bounce. Now this right here is something that's gonna help you whenever you bounce through the mixer, okay? Now I'm gonna go more in detail whenever we cover the bounce section. But for now, just know this. This option is useful when you're routing and bouncing through the mixer, okay? You can go ahead and make the choice to keep the raw files, all right? as fed to the mixer to produce the final result. And like I said, I'm going to show you that in more detail later on, okay? Next is the MIDI keys as numbers, and this is pretty self-explanatory as well. Right here, if you check this box, come on down to the bottom right-hand corner right here in your instrument panel, okay? And you see where it says key C1? Well, whenever I go ahead and choose, say, snare, as opposed to showing a note, now it's going to show a number, okay? If I go to Rack Tom, it'll show another number so forth and so on, okay? And if we go back to kick, it'll show another number. There you go. So that's if you prefer to see MIDI numbers as opposed to the keys, okay? Now the next option is the record start at MIDI option, okay? Now to me, this is somewhat self-explanatory, but this one is gonna bounce from the first note of the MIDI event within the song instead of the first beat of the bar. You understand? Let me say that again. With this option engaged, it will bounce from the first MIDI note or event, whatever the case may be, in your song as opposed to the first bar, first beat, okay? Now, this might be useful for some DAWs that transmit MIDI information inaccurately, okay? So, consider this to be a helpful thing. This is what I keep checked at all times, all right? And that pretty much covers the ones that I want to talk about for this particular video. Now, don't you worry. The ones that pertain to bouncing and whatnot, like I said, I am going to cover them in more detail in the bounce tutorial, okay? But I want y'all to stick with me. In the next video, I want to go ahead and talk about memory usage and how some of these next few options can help with your performance, okay? Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.